Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, a matter of the heart. And Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, friends, in a world of trouble, anguish, pain, and misery, do you sense, do you feel the warmth of the Spirit of God in your soul as you stop and meditate upon the things of our God? I trust and pray that you do this morning, friends. It is truly my hope that you are experiencing the fullness of the blessing of God in your life, spiritual blessing that transcends anything this world has ever known. Well, friends, that's what I would like to talk to you about this morning. Now, today is September the 1st in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Our text I would like to look at is going to be found in Luke chapter 6 and verse 45, which says, A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. And I think it would be fair to say that out of his heart, his actions proceed. And it is that thought that I would like to discuss a matter that seems to be on the hearts and mind of many a people. While watching the evening news yesterday, specifically a man by the name of Tucker Carlson on Fox News, he posed a question, and I want to look at and discuss that question for a few moments. His question was this, what is it about the left that makes them so angry, that makes them act out with such violence? I mean, most likely we're all aware of what's been taking place in the news. We see people taking down statues. We see people rioting in the streets. We, we see people attacking and beating one another for no specific reason whatsoever. Now, in today's news, they're trying to take down street signs that have any insinuation of someone who lived in the past that they might not agree with. And so the question is, what causes such anger, such hatred, such violence from this group of people. And it is this, friends, it's what we read in our text. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. You will not see a good man, a good woman out there rioting in the streets, beating and attacking others, pulling down statues, or burning down buildings. But it goes on and says, an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart. Now, a treasure is something that has been purposely buried. So what Jesus is saying here is that these people have buried this anger, this hatred, and this violence in their hearts. And all they're looking for is an opportunity to let it loose. And that's what you see. You see, if you were to talk to most of these people, they don't even know the history of the people that they're trying to destroy. These statues that they're taking down, if you were to ask them when these people lived, what was their life like? What was their agenda in life? What was their purpose? I doubt very seriously they could tell you the details of these things. They're just looking for anything, any opportunity to expose, to let loose the hate that is in their heart. You have to remember, a couple of days ago, we talked about the Spirit of God, and we identified the Spirit of God as the Spirit of love, true, sacrificial, holy, divine love. Well, if that's what the Spirit of God is, then what is the Spirit of Lucifer? The direct opposite, hate. And that's what we see in the darkness of men's souls right now, the hate that is exposing itself. They don't know why they're doing what they're doing, but because the treasure that lies in their heart is dark and evil and full of hate, they're acting out at every given opportunity they can to do such things. 
Now, I felt it was important to point this out because in the coming days ahead, we're going to see this hate spread and multiply, and many of us are going to become the victims of that hate. And we're going to look at them in wonder as to how they could treat someone in such a way, someone they don't even know. If they were to sit down and spend time with this person, they might find that they respect the person. But their hate runs so deep that that hate is going to spill forth on people that are absolutely undeserving of such hate. And we are going to be confused by it. And through acts of love and kindness, we're going to try to reach them. But you're trying to penetrate treasure that has been buried deep within their souls. And on top of that treasure are layers and layers and layers of bitterness, anger, confusion, and resentment. And you're going to have to break through all of those things before you actually get to the treasure, which is the hate. And so I want to encourage you not to be confused by the fact that you can't break through because you're trying to do in a few moments what has been built upon for many years, even decades. And so as you watch these news events, these news stories transpire day after day after day, whether it's taking down these statues, whether it's rioting in the streets, whether it's the killing of police officers, whether it's burning churches, whatever form you see this hate in, know that this is the evil and the way it represents itself in the world that we live in. And so when news analysts ask the question, how can this happen? How can these people do this? We have to understand this from the darkness that lies within men's hearts. And the problem is so many of us want to think that as a people, naturally, we're good. We learn to be evil. No, friends, we're evil and we cannot learn to be good. Only God can touch the heart of a man, a woman, a boy, or a girl and place within them through the blood of Jesus Christ the opportunity to reach such goodness. Without Jesus, darkness prevails. And what has been lying dormant for so many years is now being unveiled as they look for every opportunity they can to seek and to destroy. And as we also said a few days ago, yet for the grace of God, there go I. Yet for the grace of God, there go you, my friend. So let us lift our hearts in praise for the salvation that God has brought to our souls today in transforming us into new creatures that walk in goodness and love because of the great things that he has done for us. Well, I love you, friends. I pray that you will experience the full blessing of God today in your life, that the meekness, the quietness, the gentleness of his spirit will consume your soul and you will walk humbly before God and man. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.